if you all wouldn't mind, I'd like to write out my thank you notes right now. Principal Gannon, may I have some th um, thank you note writing music? It was the first day of school and I came into Mrs. Pagano's um, class and I was just about to cry. I was like, I don't like this class. She had us up in like these groups and I was like, I can't do this. And it was just so stressful and it just, it kind of like blew up and I was like, no, just keep it in, go. Once you get home, you can just let it all out. And I came after, like to her um, at the end of the class and I was like, you know, I don't think this is gonna be a good class for me. Can you direct me to like a different teacher because I don't like your teaching style. And that's so rude, I can't believe I said that. And I absolutely despised her. And now she is the teacher that has like the biggest impact on my life. I go to her all the time for all this advice. And I remember what she told me, she was like, you know what, just give a few days. And if you still don't like how I run the classroom and you're still not comfortable, then we can talk, we can talk to your counselor. And I was like, okay, okay. And um, I go to her for everything. Mrs. Sibowitz was there for me even before I started school. Um, I came into her office, they signed me up for all my classes, everything was completely new. I was stressing out on the verge of tears as usual. And um, she she knew that I liked theater and singing. She's like, you're gonna fit right in here. And I, like, I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I can't be here. She just has been there for me for every day. When I struggled with trig, when I struggled with all my classes, she has advised me. I had no idea what colleges were here and I jumped in junior year and everyone was like, oh, I already know what colleges I'm applying to. I was like, I don't even know what's here. <laughs> and she like gave me all this list. She helped me out. She's like, she just helped me figure out what I wanted to do with like my life. And both those teachers have made such a huge impact on my life. I think she's really nice and funny. They're both really nice and funny. She has these ways of teaching us and like, on multiplication, she has these rhymes that let us remember stuff. She makes me feel happy, and when I go to school, um, I want I want to know what we're learning, uh, what we're gonna learn. My bus driver's name is Miss Robin, and she keeps us safe safe on the bus. Like during storms, she always pays attention, and she make sure that we're not loud so she can concentrate on the road. Thank you for not letting me give up. Thank you for being an amazing teacher and thank you for believing in me. Thank you for keeping me safe. This is a time when my guidance counselor name is Sprague. Um, she was planning, uh, having me plan for next year like what I wanted to do. And she was going to put me in biology A, which is like biology academics and it's super easy and I said that I like need to be challenged earlier like in the year and she talked to my um uh it's a teacher that I have named Mr. Seeley and they both consulted with each other and they had me um now put in biology R for next year which is reg biology regions and it's a lot harder and um it just made me feel like really excited. I feel like the teachers are giving me like a lot more responsibility and that's like helping me like a lot for the future. In TOK, there's not really any schedule. We just bring in ideas that we want to talk about and we go on class discussions about uh, how that possibly affects our decisions or our morals or even society's ethics. The discussions were definitely different. Uh, definitely required a different type of mindset to answer. Uh, a lot of arguing went on <laughs> and uh, a lot of tangents on to some weird topics, but. It was definitely the most fun class I had this year. Being challenged in class just makes, I guess it makes school more fun uh, because when something's too easy, you kind of slack off and it just makes it kind of boring. But when you have a challenge, you have to work harder at it and uh, it just seems like more of a success when you complete it. I'm a 
expert and in the mornings on Mondays I get to teach the fourth grade experts now to do it so then when I go off to middle school they know how to do it when they go into fifth grade so they know what to do so we just started training them to do that. You get to learn how to make websites on Google sites, you get to learn how to create a calendar, do the announcements every day, teach people how to like use their Chromebooks better if they have a mistake um, and they don't know how to fix it. I feel really good because I know that they like, they know I'm a good kid and that they trust me. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for making me stronger, inside and out. Thank you for letting me try it on my own. What's cool about a rosewood is like it could it's like it can take a lot of dirt off. Like it can make pretty cool designs. Like it's stuff that man made people don't even do it. It just happens, so I think that's pretty cool. I enjoyed how I got to build and put stuff where I wanted um put it and see how it did and how will it really happen? I wrote another song, <laughs> and this was just a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, Mr. Jaros, a Holocaust survivor, was brought to our school, and he shared his life experience with, experiences with us. And uh, thank you to Mrs. Rodriguez for that experience, because that was awesome. It was really inspiring, actually. And I ended up writing a song about his experiences. Not, And he had kind of a different story. It wasn't as much like him going to like a concentration camp or anything like that but it was more about not about it, it wasn't as much about him surviving as it was about his gratitude for those who allowed him to survive since fifth grade i've been playing the trombone i've been enjoying it a lot it's my second year this year next year it's gonna be my third year so um i've been doing a lot of these um musical programs like for, for example, the summer music program, the jazz ensemble, uh, Nishma. It's just so exciting, like, like there's like hundreds and hundreds of people um, out in the audience, like cheering everybody on um, in the band concert. And like whenever I, I hear that clap, that, 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 applause, that applause, I just get so excited to, and, and so eager. And um, I, I do very well when I have that self-confidence in my me. It makes me feel good. Thank you for letting me have fun. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for recognizing my talents. When I moved here, I was young, like five years old, from Packham, Queens. I thought, wow, this is just an ordinary school, but I like it. It looks nice. A lot of room. And then as I grow older, I start to check out, I start to become more familiar with the area. I've seen Glens Falls, I've seen Fort Edward, I've seen a lot of the other places. And I start to notice that Queensbury has much more than the other schools do. We have academics, we have much more music programs, we have the band and orchestra, we have the chorus, we have nice teachers, we have, uh, like I said, very good gym. I, I always I always like how they do the modified teams. I love, uh, I like how the school is separated with the Wolf Draw, White Face, and Panther. I like that. And I always would like, when I was in the four or five, when everybody would say, oh, Panther's the best, ah, oh, and they would vote for the best uh, team. When I got Wolf Draw, I was thinking, oh, dang it, nobody likes this team. Then I got there and, and and they had these extremely nice teachers and I really liked it. There's a lot of different personalities in a person and there's a lot of different personalities in the school. You've got different groups of people and for the boys you got like the jokey guys, the crazy guys, the funny guys, you got the athletic guys, you got the ones you want to stay away from, you got the really smart ones and once you get here, you can always fit into a group because there's a group for whoever you are and whatever you, your personality, personality, braces, uh, kind of fits into. Well, the people make this big because uh, I got sick over uh, Christmas break 
and uh, they helped me through everything. You know, I had tutors. Um, my teachers were coming home and actually tutoring me as well. And uh, Mrs. Sullivan was on top of everything with me, and that was wonderful. Or um, that she just helped me out. So I just feel really happy to be a part of this school. It's something that they didn't have to do, but they did it for you because they, you know, they care about you, and that's what I like about Queensbury. You know, it's all good teachers, all good people. So it's just great to be a part of Queensbury. Thank you for making this a place that I want to be. Thank you for making this the place I want to be. There you guys have it. Those are my thank you notes. Have a great summer.